absolutely love creating little monsters from basements to bedrooms, the side of a barn, jungle gym, restaurants, even a bathroom. My name is MC Lamar and I am an artist who has ventured on a quest to paint 100 green monster murals before Fenway Park turns 100 on April 20th of 2012. This is number 87 or 88, um, but each one is different. It really depends on the architectural elements. The client picks the game and they have actually picked John Lester's No Hitter. I'm excited, it's a fun game, because I was at the game. I've spent quite a bit of time studying the park uh, through photographs and visits to the park, and then I use those as my reference for the monster when I'm creating them. And I get caught up in the details, I guess you could say. A lot of people ask if I use stencils, and I do it all by hand. My first monster was in May of 2004. I'm very excited about my quest. I am on what I would probably consider the ninth inning, bottom of the ninth maybe. Um, I have completed 90 monsters in my work is in 15 states and Nova Scotia. It's a showpiece. It's, it's so talked about uh, here in Framingham and, and the guests really love it. It's like having lunch in the outfield, if you will. I was commissioned by Bucky Dent to paint a green monster for him in his baseball school, uh, depicting his home run in October 2nd of 1978. So while it was not a favorable choice for most Red Sox fans, um, I, I actually found it an honor to have my work in his facility. This is in New Bedford at Ocean's 18. It's an indoor black light mini golf facility. The Morse code on the scoreboard at Fenway Park has Tom and Jean Yockey's initials. I give you the opportunity to personalize your scoreboard and include your initials. Here at Sluggers Academy in Medfield, and this is the largest scale green monster that I've done. I try to get all the details and make it look as accurate as I can, because not only is it a quest to paint 100, but it's a quest to paint 100 and have them accurate and really depict the park that everybody loves so much. Being a fan really helps in, in terms of what I'm doing, because the passion is not only for my artwork, but for, for the park and the team itself. Red Sox! Bit of a lofty goal, but if the Sox can win the World Series as they did, I can paint 100 monsters.